Hello esteemed viewers, welcome to our mass tutorial for today. In today's mass tutorial, we are going to consider this mass Olympiad question. And we are asked to solve for x in this exponential equation. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe to this channel. Also remember to press the bell icon so that you can be able to get a subsequent mass Olympiad content once they are uploaded. I love Maths Olympiad because such questions tend to uh, try students' logical reasoning. Now consider this Olympiad question. If you compare this question with this uh, uh, right-hand side of this question and the left-hand side, you'll come to see that they are almost similar, but the only difference is what the plus uh, one. And so if we remove this plus one, you'll come to see that x can be equal to 4 because if you check these values you come to see that x is equal to 4 but because we have uh, this uh, the left hand side to be to the power of x plus 1 we are going to solve this equation uh, using some logical reasoning now pay attention as we are going to find a solution to this uh, exponential equation to solve this question very well, we are going to consider solving the left-hand side of this equation very well. Now, in the left-hand side of this equation, we are given that 1 plus 1 divided by x is what is all raised to the power of x plus 1. Now, if we consider that equation very well, if we simplify this, this equation can still give us this value x can give us x plus 1 divided by x. Now, if we look at this equation very well, we are going to arrive at this to the power of 1 if we simplify this. Now, if we reciprocate this or find the inverse of this, this whole equation will now give us something that is similar to this x plus 1 all to the power of what? Because this will become negative one because we have what? Inverted the, the fraction. So having done this, we can now begin the manipulation we want to manipulate because this whole thing is now equivalent to this. We now have a one plus one divided by X to be equal to a this same value. Now, having given us this, we need to manipulate this equation so that we can be able to arrive at an equation that will satisfy this exponential, a value of x that will satisfy this exponential equation. Now, having given this, we want to uh, bring up a logical manipulation. I want to manipulate this equation such that we can be able to arrive to something similar to this because we we'll have one here and there is no one on this uh, on the right hand side. Remember, we want this equation to look like this. So what we are going to do is we are going to, on this right hand side, we are going to add the value of one and still subtract one. It is still going to give us the same, uh, the same equation. Why? because one plus one minus one is still equal to what? Is still equal to zero. And this and the uh, numerator will still have our x. So this will be equal to minus one. If we manipulate this, remember we are heading to having an equation like this. So if we have that, we are going to make this to be a equation to separate this part, we'll have this uh, to be divided by x plus 1, right? And this will be plus. We'll have our minus 1 to be divided by x plus 1. And this will be all to the bracket of uh, raised to the power of minus 1. If you simplify this whole expression, you are going to arrive at this. Now, if we simplify this, you are now going to see that this will be equal to this divided by this will give us 1 plus 1 divided by the negative sign will come down to give us x plus 1. And then this will be 
all to the power of minus 1. Now you come to see that this equation is now similar to this. Since we have our 1 and we have our 1. Remember that this expression have a power and that power is x plus 1. So we are going to bring that power into this expression. If we bring that power into this expression, we are now going to have uh, this expression to become 1 plus 1 divided by x. Remember, is all raised to power x plus 1, and that will be equal to this expression will now become 1 plus 1 divided by um, minus x plus 1, the negative x plus 1, all to the power of, all to the power of negative x plus 1. So what we are trying to do is to make sure that we'll have this denominator equal this, denom this, uh, this power exponent, and that is exactly what we have arrived at. And recall that from the initial expression, this whole value is equal to is equal to this. So we are going to equate them. If we equate that whole value, having realized the fact that this is now equal to this, we can now say that this expression 1 plus 1 divided by minus x plus 1 all to the power of negative uh, x plus 1 is equal to the right hand side which is uh, which is 1 plus 1 divided by 4 all to the power of 4. Now you come to see that this uh, denominator is almost equivalent to this 4 and the numerator is also equivalent to this. So we are going to take one of the exponents. If we take one of the exponents, that value will now give us m minus x plus 1. The negative x plus 1 will now be equal to 4. We can equate this or we equate the exponent. So if we equate them, we'll have this. Simplifying this, we'll have a minus x multiplied by x will give us minus x minus 1 equal to a 4. So if this 4 comes over here, we'll have a minus x to be equal to 4. That will give us 4 plus 1 and do a 4 plus 1. So haven't gotten that, a minus x will now be equal to 5. To clear this negative sign here, we're going to multiply both sides by minus. We we'll multiply both sides by minus, this will become x equal to minus 5. So the value for x for that exponential equation is what? Negative what? 5. Now, to confirm if what we did is actually correct, if our value is actually correct, let's check. We're going to look at the initial equation that's given to us. We'll have 1 plus 1 divided by x all to the power of x plus 1. We said it must be equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 4 all to the power of what? 4. Now, let's check by putting value of x to be equal to minus 5. We'll have 1 plus 1 divided by negative 5 all to the power of minus 5 plus 1. This will be equal to uh, 1 plus 1 divided by 4 all to the power of what? 4. This must be equal to this. So let's simplify. This will give us 1 plus 1 divided by minus 5 all to the power of minus 4 and this will be equal to this. We'll simplify this whole thing. We are going to have uh, this to be equal to minus four divided by minus five. 
to the power of minus 4 and that will be equal to 1 1 plus 1 divided by 5 will automatically give us uh, will automatically give us uh, 5 divided by by 4 all to the power of 4 I haven't simplified that this will now give us this expression here will now give us the negative sign will clear the negative sign so we'll have our 4 divided by 5 all to the power of negative 4 to be equal to 5 divided by 4 all to the power of positive 4. Now for us to get this same value we're going to uh, find the inverse of this and the inverse of this will give us 5 divided by 4 all to the power of 4 because once you invert this this negative sign will go off and this will be equal to uh, 5 divided by 4 all to the power of 4. So you see from this expression the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So that expression shows us that the value x uh, equal to x equal to the value x equal to uh, minus 5 truly satisfy that uh, exponential equation that was given to us. Thanks so much for watching and do share this video with your friends and colleagues. Don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe to this channel in order to get a simplified mathematics questions.